I will be also come back to the channel. It's still your boy reacting to Chelsea news and update as they drop. It's still on Chelsea's defeat to Aston Villa. It's still hot very much. I'm sure all Chelsea fans are still feeling it. But right here in this video, I'm completely focused on discussing at least four key points, four key areas. I think Pochettino made an error that cost Chelsea against the Villa match. The first one is playing Enzo out of his wing. Now, I've always said that. I said that in my previous video. In the last match against Bournemouth, uh, Poch actually played Enzo out of his wing. And what we found out from that match is Enzo completely lost. He was nowhere to be found. He was even sobbed later during that match. And here we are where again against Aston Villa, Poch decided to play Enzo out of his wing again. Number 8 position, which we all are, had been clamoring for Palmer to take up that position because we know that he's a better attacking player, he has all the qualities to get goals or assist or cause goal to happen more than Enzo does. But Poch again went on and played him in that wing and guess what, Enzo lost like we expected. His rating was one of the lowest ratings ever in that match, I think about 6.5 or so rating Enzo was lost in that match. Because of what Pochettino did. The second error is not starting Palmer from the get go. In my formation that I did before the match, I predicted that Palmer was going to start and play in that attacking midfield role because of his qualities and characteristics going forward and getting goals and assisting goals. But Poch didn't start Palmer, and I think that's a very big error. That's, uh, that's, 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 that's one of the reasons why Chelsea were not firing in front of goals, they were not having options, they didn't create a lot of chances. Palmer was supposed to be a starter and we saw when he came on in the second half, we saw that he had two key passes that he made. We also saw his um, uh, uh, forward passes that he made also. He statistically contributed more, way more than in 22 minutes that he played than Sterling did in 101 minutes that he did all through that match. So not starting Palmer was another big error from Pochettino and it cost us the match. So the third mistake that I think Poch did is actually leaving Sterling to play far, far too long. He left Sterling to play even while the lad was playing rubbish, even while the lad wasn't doing anything. Sterling couldn't, didn't have, didn't create any chance, zero chances created. The ones that he was, that was created for him, we saw how he wasted those opportunities. He literally played the ball straight at the keeper and the other one that he had options to pass, he he didn't. Even though people were arguing that okay it's, it was an offside and all of that. But just assuming it wasn't an offside, Chelsea would not have had that goal. Where you have like two players easily tuck the ball in for your, your guy to score. It was it was a very hard thing for Sterling to do. Frankly, I don't think Sterling should be starting Chelsea's match because he, he is not good enough. He's simply not good enough. And the fourth point is, I find it an error that Pochettino is unable to inculcate the winning, the habit of first half winning mentality in these guys. We saw in the old in the old era of Chelsea how when Chelsea were very dominant, we saw how important first half wins were for Chelsea. Chelsea were always very threatening in first half. Then if you were, if you watch Chelsea, what would you would realize is that. By the end of first half, Chelsea were already either like 1-0 up or 2-0 up or 2-1. First half had always been a very important part of Chelsea's um, 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 success. If we if we end up playing 0-0 first half, then it's it's going to be a struggling game. That's always been the issue with Chelsea. Even in, against Bournemouth and all the other matches that we've not, we've not really performed, though, we can see that play out. We don't get goals in the first half, then it's a, it's a disaster. The second half comes and we concede goal, or we don't even score at all. It ends in the draw, or we lose the match. That's what it says. I feel like Coach Poch needs to do more to inculcate that winning mentality in these guys. That hey, we're going into this first half. We're going to get a goal. We're definitely going to get push for these goals. Be mindful of your defense, but also push for con consciously push push for these goals and get these goals early on in the first half. Don't let this ball go to 45 minutes on 0-0. Get these goals. That's the mentality of Chelsea. You get goals in the first half. Set yourself up for 
high achieving uh, uh, game and then when you come to second half it's usually easier when you've already got some goals from first half it's easy to wrap up so these are the key areas i think Poch actually made mistakes and he is going to have to correct this these bits and pieces of errors here and there in order to get chelsea back in winning ways